Monday's audio cast. Many economists say a recession is on its way. Are you prepared? CNBC just tweeted that. You guys at CNBC are pretty horrible putting that tweet out. The numbers have shown we've been in recession now for at least 12 months. Two consecutive negative quarters is a recession. The wages have not gone up. Gasoline, $7 a gallon this weekend. We're already in recession, guys. The problem is is there's a difference between a recession for a rich person, a middle class person, and now middle to poor class people. And what you kind of do is put everyone in the same basket, no matter what it is. You put everyone in the same basket, and then in your case, you act as if we're not in recession because you have money in the bank. You're able to pay those extra prices, and then you're silent about it. Look, as soon as Joe Biden came in here and changed the energy policy, that was the beginning of the recession. We were barely recovering from the COVID pandemic recession that all of you guys really laid an egg on because the first couple of weeks we all could have paid, gotten paid vacation time instead of this lockdown that lasted for over 12 months. Just hideous. I just stopped watching halftime reports, Scott, because I just couldn't get the information that I deemed necessary. And when you guys yanked Pete and John like that on the best show that I had listened to on the podcast, I was very disappointed because they were giving you their opinions about the economy and you didn't want to listen to them. We are in recession. Pretty soon we're going to be in depression. You have no rent control, no gas control, and the wages are not as if they're so good that you think because everyone's hiring 15 bucks an hour really isn't that much money, Scott. And you know that. I'm just truly disappointed in the entire CNBC broadcast.